Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is No Borders ASMR. In today's video, we're gonna be doing Stranger Things quizzes because as I'm currently filming, it is 9.30 p.m. Um, Pacific time. So in a couple hours, Stranger Things season two, no, season four, volume two will be coming out. And I just thought, why not just do a couple Stranger Things quizzes because you know the season's about to come out. So we're gonna do a couple character quizzes. Mm, I'm gonna be chewing them. Hope you guys fall asleep to this, and I hope you guys enjoy as well. So let's get right into it. Let's find out which Stranger Things character with whom you're the most spiritually and emotionally aligned. Well, let's choose a snack. There's donuts. Hawaiian pizza, Jif peanut butter, I go waffles, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces, ice cream. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, don't hate me, please not hate me on me, but I love Hawaiian pizza. I really, li I really like Hawaiian pizza. Every pizza place I go to, I try their Hawaiian pizza because I enjoy. Yes, I'm not afraid to admit it. I am a, I'm a Hawaiian pizza. Enjoy love so I'm gonna go with Hawaiian pizza. Choose a Steve. Pre, 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 redemption mark Steve. There's baby, baby, sitter Steve, and then there's scoops, 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 always Steve, and upside down Steve. And out of all these, I think my favorite one gotta be Scoops Ahoy Steve. Choose a quote. While well, I'm here to tell you that there are other little lost sheeps, sheepies or sheeps out there who need help, who need you. And all you guys gotta do is get your boat peeps on and go and find one. I can't spell America without Erica. Remember the hurt. The hurt is good. It means you're out of the cave. I promise I'd keep you shitheads safe, and that's exactly why I'm planning on doing it. Hmm. Sometimes I think it's just scary to open up like that, to say how you really feel, especially the people you care about the most, because what if they don't like the truth? Hmm. Boyfriends lie all the time. Boyfriends lie all the time. Hmm. This interminable bickering was amusing at first, but it's getting very stale. And we've still got a long drive ahead of us, so why don't you do cut the horse shit and get to the part where you admit your sexual feelings for one another? And you know what? I think somebody Murray said that. Murray's one of my favorite characters. Even though all of us lose pretend to be above it all, we all we still just want to be popular, accepted, normal. Friends don't lie. Got me stressed out, I'm not even my girlfriend. Hmm. Out of all of these, a fairy one gotta be this one by Maria. I know, I know this is Maria. It's my fairy quote. Out of all of these ones, and they even gave. So I'm gonna go with this one. Ah, it's a demogorgon. How do you react? Grab a band, protect your friends, contact the media, single handedly destroy it. We start casting it to a slink away in shape. Cue up your favorite song and fight back. Wait, demogorgons exist. I probably wouldn't notice. Fight back. Lack of surprise be damned. Panic share and. Okay. And then honestly, I'm getting dragged to the upside down in this area. I think I'm queuing up my favorite song and fighting with me. How would your friends describe you? Paranoid, protective, carefree, sarcastic, maternal, powerful, fierce, sensitive, cultured, passionate. Hmm. What would they call me? I think they call me Carefree. <laughs> well, yeah, Carefree. Which game would you choose to play in the Rainbow Room? D&D, mm, &D. they don't got that, racing to cars, arts and crafts, Nintendo, solving a maze and chess. I mean, I'll pick a Nintendo, I swear, pretty obvious. What would your superpower be? Hmm. Telekinesis, 
predicting the future, super strength, breathing underwater, running very, very fast, away from whatever danger there is, a genius intellect, ability to control other people's emotions, super hearing, reading minds, I don't need superpowers, I'm already me, okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't know, telekinesis? Be, I think telekinesis. I, I, I want to be able to move things around. Okay? You, you'll be having the force, pretty much. All these are kind of scary in a way in that, in that you can easily hurt people or hurt yourself. So, telekinesis? I feel like. Yeah. I feel like telekinesis is cool. I don't know what telekinesis Choose the season. Mm. My fair season. So far, my fair season season four. Oh, I don't know. Choose a high school to click to join. Hmm. And there's no sports. <laughs> I play sports as you know sports, but I also play a lot of games. So all the jocks. Am I, uh, I like the jocks? Am I? No. I just go. I'll just be a gamer. You just learn about the upside down. Do you stay in Hawkins or try to get the hell out? I was planning on leaving anyway. I'm not leaving without my friends. Are you kidding me? This place would fall apart without me. Hell yeah, I'm leaving. I'm never going to Hawkins in the first place. I'm not scared of any monsters. I'm not going anywhere. I want to leave, but too many people are depending on me here. I'm staying. Someone has to tell the rest of the world what's happening. Ugh, I couldn't leave if I tried. Sure, I'll stay. How much worse thing can things get? Mm. Mm. I think I'll, I'm not leaving without my friends. Actually, no. I think we, I'll, I'll tell the rest of the world. I'll try to help people, and if they ignore me, it is what it is. I'll try to warn them. Yeah, choose the show scary as villain. Vecna, 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 Vecna. The U.S. government, the Mind Flayer, the Demogorgons. Papa, 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 The Russians, Angela, Billy, the Madogs, Marilyn, the Forest Merlin. Gotta be Angela, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Everybody here has redeeming qualities, but Angela, honestly. She had no reason to be mean to, to Eleven like that in the new season. I don't know why she's acting up like that. She got what she deserved at the end anyway, so... What happens when you push someone to the edge? Bill. <laughs> if if you could hang out with one character in real life, who would you choose? Dustin Heron Henderson, Joyce Byers, Jonathan Byers, Steve Harrington, Eddie Munson, Lucas Sinclair, Erica Sinclair. Sinclair has a nice thing to ring to it, doesn't it? Nancy Wheeler, Eleven, and Robin, Robin Buckley, 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 Buckley. Hmm. Who would I hang out with? Oh, they're all interesting people. I, oh, I like all these guys. They'd all be fun to hang out with. But, if I'm being honest, I think I'd hang out with them. Um, Dustin Henderson. I think him, him and I would get along. Choose a song to protect yourself from Vecna. I'm running up the hill. <laughs> Yeah, this song got popular. I never, I, I'm real with you. Sorry for being a bit uncultured, but I, I think I've only heard this song once before. The um, Stranger Things made it really popular. As it was by Harry Styles, Brutal by Larry Rodrigo, I Wanna Dance with Somebody, <laughs> Heroes, I, know, I Love Rock and Roll, Run the World. Mm. I Wanna Dance with Somebody. I think that'd be my song. Yeah. And finally, what's your favorite iconic moment from the series so far? Mm. Max ex escaping Vecna through the power of Kate Bush, the reveal of Vecna's true identity, Hopper's heroic sacrifice in season 3, Robin coming out to Steve in the bathroom, Will communicating from the upside down through Christmas lights, Murray winning his fight against Yuri in the airplane, Steve telling Dustin how, how to do his hair, and Dustin later copying a sound for the snowball. 
Erica joining the team to explore the secret Russian base, and then Eddie's speech in the cafeteria. In terms of impact, like, wow, I didn't, like, I didn't see that coming, or I did see it coming, but like, a lot of people didn't see it coming, it was Vecna's true identity. Another one was also Murray winning his fight against Yuri. Moody, Yuri, Moody, Yuri, Moody, Yuri. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna go with Vegna's true identity. Oh, I got Steve Harrington. So you are the spiritual or literal babysitter of your friend group, the ultimate mom friend, the one that keeps a first aid kit in their car and a nail studded baseball bat in their trunk, whether you're in a relationship or not. You're, you're romantic at heart, and you aren't afraid to admit it, but flirtation will never get in the way of your true purpose. Mentoring your friends through all the their hair a monster and crushes on straight girls related trouble. Mm. So I'm going to see Harrington. Yeah, I did not, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I did not see that one coming. But hey, if BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed said it, they must be right, because they're never wrong. <laughs> so that's quiz number one. Quiz number two, which is by the Honey Pop, which Stranger can uh, Stranger, <coughs> sorry, can't speak today. Which Stranger Things four character are you? So let's try. Where's the quiz at? Let's try. Let's jump straight right into it. Okay, so let's take the quiz. What's your ideal way to spend a Friday night? Playing D and D with your friends, going to a house party, drawing or painting, studying, going to a movie with friends. And slaying demagogians. Hmm. My ideal Friday night. I don't know. I'm going to a movie with friends. Slaying demagogians. I mean, this sounds like a typical Friday night for me. So I don't know. I think I'd I'd just slay a demagogian, then go watch a movie with my friends, then come back home, do a bit of studying. After I study, I hit a party. After after a party, I play. Do you deal with my friends? Okay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not even this. Um, I think I'll go to more with friends. What's your favorite 80s trend? Mm, mullets, leg warmers, perms, neon everything, retro patterns. Uh, I do apologize for all the screaming downstairs. That's my, uh, that's my family. Mm, very loud. <laughs> and I do apologize if you hear them in the video. So, I think... Retro patterns. Your friend asks, uh, asks. Your friend asks for a favor. You say, "Of course." Can I do it later? Um, I would be. I would, but I can't because my cat got eaten by a demogorgon. Oh, I'm. I'm really, really sorry. But I don't think I can. A sigh of fine. Mm, no. I'll be like sigh and fine. I'll be like <sighs> fine. Choose a song from 2022, Boyfriend of Cameron. Late Night Talk, Talking Harry Styles, About Damn Time, Lizzo, She's All I Wanna Be, Tate McRae, Me, Myself, and I, Five Seconds of Summer, Skin um, with Teeth, Demi Lovato, ABCDEFU, Kale, When You're Gone. I don't even know, I haven't listened to a lot of these songs. So. Mm. I guess I'll go. When You're Gone by Shawn Mendes. Oh no, I never heard of any, any of these. Maybe you have, I just don't know the names. Yeah. It's a song from the 80s. Take On Me. Oh, okay. Oh my god, Take On Me. Don't don't you forget about... Don't you forget about... I love that song. I love these two songs. Don't Stop Believing. Love this song. Just, okay. Love, I've never heard a song about what's love gonna do. Maybe I have. I love rock and roll. Another one, Bison Dust. Come on, that was beat it. Oh, come on, these are all good. Just want to have fun. Oh my, girls just want to have fun. And I want to dance. Oh, these are all so good. I don't see any song. I don't really care. Mm. I don't know what to pick. These are, I'll just do Take On Me by Hug. I don't know. I'm sorry if I, if I triggered people, but all the songs are so good. Choose one of these characters. Oh, R.I.P. Alexi. R.I.P. Alexi. I was kind of sad when he died. R.I.P. Billy too. I think 
Oh, I want to choose Argyle. I like Argyle. But Murray. How would you describe your friends? Sweet, loyal, brave, an idiot, hardworking, passionate, and funny. I say, I say loyal. What's your favorite subject in school? Math, science, art, English, and PE. I do enjoy math. I think I math would be. All of these I'm not really interested in. Math is the one subject I'm kind of... Oh, <laughs> again, I apologize for being really loud downstairs. Math. Pick a movie from the 80s to watch on movie night. Mm, Back to the Future, Footloose, The Goonies, Top Gun, Dirty Dancing, and Breakfast Club. Back to the Future. <laughs> and finally, pick a color. Red, black, yellow, purple, blue, orange, green, and white. My favorite color, blue. Will Byers. Mm. You, you got Will. You have a sixth sense for when things aren't right, and we're 90% sure you got a paranormal experience or two. You're super intelligent and honest, and you would love to do anything for the people you love, okay? Oh, not love. And you would do anything for the people you love. Hmm. Well, so that is my second quiz. Moving on to the third and final quiz. Which Stranger Things character are you? Hmm. Let me see. What's your favorite movie of all time? Fast and the Furious, The Wizard of Oz, Wonder Woman, Mean Girls, The Thing, and The Shining. Well, out of all of these picks, my favorite movie would be Fast and uh, not Fast and the Furious. Oh, that's Back to the Future moment. Yeah. Like, I guess Fast and the Furious. Okay, continue. How many friends do you have? Got a few really close friends who want to... Uh, I have a few friends. Actually, I got, a, I got a few really close friends who would be... Yeah, I think I'll go this way. Okay, so moving on. Um, what's your favorite color? Green, blue, red, brown, pink, purple. Mm, my favorite color? Blue. I stayed in before. If you had to go to a des uh, desert island and pick only three objects to bring with you, what would you bring? A gun, a bowie knife, and some flint, a survival book, a raincoat, and a knife, the materials to make a satellite radio, <laughs> a juice box, and my best friend, a flashlight, a radio, a box of cookies, Dungeons and Dragons, a Swiss Army knife, and a radio, candy, TV, and a book. Mm. A lot of people would pick this one, but I think I'd go for candy in a TV remote. I'll be honest, I'll go for that one. What's your favorite book of all time? First edition Superman books are for dummies, but I like being, uh, but I like being in Nothingness by Jean Paul Sinter. It by Stephen King, Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, The Born Identity by Robert uh, Lulu. Well, none of these are my favorite books, so out of these ones, I don't have one. Who is your biggest idol? Clint Clint Eastwood, Stephen King, Dwayne Johnson. I don't have any idols that only disappoint you. Beyonce and Queen Elizabeth I and Superman. Dwayne Johnson. The Rock. Definitely one of them. Out of all the people you personally know, who truly knows you the best? My partner, my best friend. Uh, I'm a noble, and I like it that way. No one, people, uh, people never try to get to know me. My mom, my brother. Mm. Who knows me the best? I guess my best friends. Well, my, I guess my best friends know me the best. They can only use one word. Which one would your friends use to describe you? Funny. So it's powerful, loyal, strong, creative, funny, and smart. And I'm gonna be funny. That's what everyone says about me. I'm trying to be here or anything. That's what just everyone, everyone I meet. That's what they first thing to say. And I don't think I'm being funny. I'm just being myself. Which of the following would you never say to someone? 
I never gossip about someone. I would never gossip about someone who wasn't there. I would never say that something doesn't exist unless I can prove it. I would never compliment someone unless they really deserved it. I would never tell anyone that I'm scared. I would never lie. I would never show weakness or tell someone I love them, especially if I did. Mm. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I, I would never gossip about someone who wasn't there. But I, I don't gossip about people in general, so I don't do that. I think I never say that something doesn't exist until I can prove it. Yeah. What is your greatest achievement? Being. Greatest achievement? Being smarter than everyone else. Leaving home and making a life for myself. Starting my own project. Writing a novel. Learning to speak a new language. Getting a promotion. Mm. Mm. My greatest achievement out of all these? Mm. I started my own project, which is this channel. Continue. What is the worst thing you've ever done? Run away from home, committed a crime, lied to a friend, stole from a family member, hurt a friend, bullied someone. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I didn't bully someone. I never hurt a friend. I mean, I accidentally hurt a friend, like, while playing a sport. It was like, accidental, but I don't think I hurt a friend on purpose. Never, I've never done that. I stole from a family, yeah. I stole from my sister. I stole her candy when I was when she was younger, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> Easy. Which which position are you most proud of? My car, my computer, my hunting knife, my bike, my brain, my memory scrapbook. Mm. Uh, I go with my brain. Let's say the pipes in your house have burst. What's the first thing you do? Buy a new sink, call the plumber. A handy friend to fix it, fix it by myself, deal with it, and hope it doesn't get any worse. Learn how to fix it, and ask someone right now to help you. Well, I don't know nothing about plumbing, so I think I just call a plumber. How do you, how do you most often spend your downtime? Learning, playing video games, reading, listening to music, shopping, watching TV. Um, I guess reading. What do you do when you get stressed? I try to fix a problem quickly, but then it usually causes more problems. I rely on my friends for comfort, honestly. I usually get pretty overwhelmed. I don't get stressed, just mad. First I get angry, but eventually I try to figure out the problem and fix it. I play some video games, which usually go. I think this one would be. Firstly, first I get angry, but I eventually try to figure out the problem and fix it. I, mean, I don't get angry at others, I just get angry at myself. But then I just goes away. I just, I just you know, I go for a run or something. Work out, and then I think, and then the, the problem just, I just try to figure it out. Yeah, this one. Oh, how many more questions are there? This is a lot. In your spare time, where do you like to hang out? At an arcade, at the mall, I like to hang out. I like music bars, in my living room, in my bedroom, I don't in my bedroom. <laughs> Which of the following statements best describe your personality? I'm a good person, but sometimes I let my emotions get the better of me. I pretend I'm dumb because I want to fit in, but people feel intimidated when they see I'm smarter. People, I'm pretty outgoing and nice. I try to, my best to seem cool so I can fit in, but on the inside I don't feel cool at all. I'm a doer. I get things done. I may not get done properly, but that's better than most people can say. I seem pretty shy and introverted, but actually I'm always thinking. I'm fun, adventurous, and always looking for the uh, the next awesome thing to do. Smart. I'm also really smart. <laughs> I think I'm pretty shy and introverted, but I'm not. Yeah, this one. Which of the following? Um, of the following, which is the closest to your dream job? I want to be a famous author. I'm sick of working. I want to be rich. Fashion designer, engineer, president of the United States, Russia, or whatever, famous music. Mm, I'm sick of working. I want to be rich. Because honestly, what I want to do is not here. So, move on. Which of the following resembles your moral code? Keep to yourself and protect your friends' family. Do your best. You, uh, do the best you can to do things. Um, do whatever it takes to win. Just have fun and be cool. Everything else will fall in place. Don't hurt people. Don't let them walk over you either. Do your job. Keep to yourself. And I think this one. Hey. If you had a chance to change one thing about the world, what would it be? 
I would make teleportation reality, reality and make it free for use. Make it notice by telling. I would make people less complicated. Everyone gets a universal basic income. No more evil people. Equality for everyone. Hmm. That's gotta be a teleportation. <laughs> Which will find you things closest to the meaning of life. There's no meaning to life. It is whatever you think to have dreams and then strive for them to, and then strive to achieve them, to get the, mo uh, the most stuff you can get, to do things and make people good, to be famous for doing something awesome, to get a good job, some of them. Mm. Mm. There's no meaning to life. You just you just do whatever you think it is. And this one, this one, or this one. I'm gonna go to have dreams and strive for Which of the following most describes your feeling in a crowd? I bet there's money to be made here. Ugh, people boring. I hate this. Get me out of here. This is awesome. Look at all the people. That depends what kind of crowd we are talking about. A crowd at a Comic Con is entirely different from a crowd of zombies. I don't mind crowds. I could take them. I don't mind This one. I don't mind them. Well, I don't really care about them. I don't mind them. So, yeah. If you could wake up tomorrow in any other country, what country would it be? England, Canada, I don't care as long as it's home, France, Dominican Republic, those... I don't even know what that is. Does it have to be a real country? If not, Asgard, if it does, no way. I don't know, I don't care, as long as it's home. What's your dream vehicle? A Harley Davidson, a private jet, a Vespa, a Marquini, Ford Mustang, doesn't A Vespa, come on, don't play with me. What job would you be off with? Therapist, accountant, social worker, social worker, surgeon, CEO, Muslim, everything. That'd be good. Oh, off. Surgeon. If you could wake up tomorrow and be a master in one of these skills, which one would you choose? Sword fighting, guitar playing, sharpshooting, pilot, piloting, painting, sounds. Oh, this one would be powerful, but sword fighting. Which of the following? How the following? Which movie title best describes your life? Stand by me. Dirty Harry, Confessions of a uh, Shopaholic, Escape from Alcatraz, Harry Potter and Order of Phoenix, Invasion of the Bison, Harry Potter and Order of Phoenix. What's your favorite kind of art? Comic book art? Surrealism? I like the Renaissance painters, photorealism. Mm, comic book art? Which, are the Which one would you refuse to watch or read despite their popularity? Game of Thrones, Twilight, Breaking Bad, I don't watch and read anything. And everything I can. It's a wonderful life. Crime and pleasure. T Twilight. <laughs> I just don't see it. Oh, this is a long quiz. I wonder what it's, when it's over. What's, what is your favorite animal? Dog, squirrel, giant man, eating piranha, eagle, rhino, lion. Dog. No oh, thanks. So, out of all that, I get will. You are will. People often mistake your shyness for na uh, naivety. No, little do they know. You, <clears throat> you've seen more than they could ever imagine. Kind of thoughtful. You sometimes feel to trust people who truly love you. You should try to accept your friendships. So, I got will twice. So, it's a 66% chance that I won. Wow. That's crazy. So, yeah. That wraps up today's uh, video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know. Let me know what character you guys got when you took a quiz. And um, feel free to let me know also any suggestions you guys want to see in the future. So yeah, that's all for that's all for tonight. Um, hope you guys are excited, um, just like me, for the new season of Stranger Things coming out in a few hours. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.